Hello and welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. I hope you are having a nice day. We are doing the first of our Clan Boss Challenge videos. We will be doing more in the future, so please drop any suggestions down in the comments. While you're at it, why not drop a like and subscribe? And you'll get notified on any future videos that we get to, to do. Uh, Yeah, so going straight into it, the concept for our team this time around is no buffs and to start off with it is built around norog his passive is that he is immune to stun which is good for the clan boss uh stun hit on the a1 and if you are under one or more debuffs you negate 15 percent of the damage but if you have no buffs on at all you get 25 percent damage mitigation so before we try complement this with a bunch of other damage mitigating characters like Geo, who has a passive where he reduces the incoming damage by your whole team if the clan boss is under HP burn by 15%. And we're gonna pair that up also with a character that people might know, Venom Age, has again more damage reduction by 15% if they have a heal reduction on them as well. So using these guys together, just trying to reduce as much damage as possible on the clan boss. Looking at the gear, we have some Defiant set on Venom Age, just like HP and Defense. We're not really looking at attack power. It is an attack champion, but we're just looking to keep them alive as long as possible. We're aiming for like, even if it's like four key, we just want to be able to actually use the team to get the top chest out of it. You no, know, even if it means that we use four keys in a day, that's all we're really looking for. So, we have 80,000 HP on Vogoff. He's one of our choices because of the healing. Although, we probably could get a better champion than Vogoff, to be honest with you. Uh, defense increased by, you know, nearly 3,500 there got a quite a decent amount of speed on it as well while we're at it he has lifesteal to keep his health high geo is in guardian set and has over nearly 2500 uh defense with about 51,000 hp also high accuracy high speed not not too high though you know just trying to get these champs to work as as best as we can uh, the, f the fifth and final character on the team is actually Frask. So we have 100% crit rate, counter-attack gear, and 2,000 defense. Could do with trying to get a bit better with the defenses on these guys, but it's just trying to get the right stats so we can get his healing, get enough HP on him so his healing is good enough, and really just not having... The gear that's going to allow us to get really high defense on it at the same time you know so that's really all it is pretty straightforward just high hp a bit of defense and a decent amount of speed so that they get enough turns to keep each other alive so the whole team in general do we show you the norvog here no not yet right so norvog he has guardian set as well the more little damage procs that we get on all the characters the more geo can do his passive ability so we can get a bit extra damage out of having these extra guardian sets on as well everybody has war master mastery and some of them have counter attack when they get the stun but i don't think the stun actually counts because he's immune to it entirely so yeah hopefully Norwog gets attacked, and we will see how that goes. Okay, starting our run on Alt Nightmare. We have to select our team for the bottom. We've done a few practice runs to see if they can run through on lower level difficulties, and they, the team runs fine, but we haven't actually tried them out on a full run through Alt Nightmare yet. So this is going to be our first time seeing it, just like you. And what we're going to do is we're going to speed this up, and I'll catch you at the end.
Okay, so we're coming up on the end now. Bang! Oh my god. This just takes out most of the team there. I think we're pretty much done. Looking at a four key team right there. Not bad. Okay, 18.79 million. We have 2.2 million on Norwog, 2 million on Vrask, 2.3 million on Vogoth, 7.2 million on Geomancer. We're expecting that he would do a lot of damage there as well. So, you know, and 4.75 million on the Venomage. That is the poisons doing well. I think overall the team did all right. I mean, we got a four key result and the zero buffs whatsoever. It's quite impressive, I think. So, there we have it. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any ideas for us to run in future projects, please drop them in the comments. Consider dropping a like and subscribe for more of this content in the future. And we will see you at the next one. Bye.